Behind me is Minecraft's very first AI chatbot. Check him out. Percy, say hi. Hello. I want to die. Yeah. All right, everybody. All right, sit down. This is going to be good. I'm sure you've all heard of a little thing called ChatGPT that's been blowing up recently. Well, as it turns out, people are actually using ChatGPT to generate dialogue for NPCs in different games. Seems like you're catching on. But I'm not going to just make any old bozo ass NPC, all right? I'm going to make a speech having intelligent thing. Wait a second. Let's just call it our chatbot for now. I want to be able to speak directly to the chatbot and have it interpret my words and send them to ChatGPT. Then I'm going to get that response and have the chatbot speak it out loud. You know, kind of like how a real conversation works, except I wouldn't know because I haven't been outside in months. More than that, though, I want the chatbot to feel real as if it's actually aware of its surroundings. And I'd like it to have real knowledge about the world that it exists in. All of this together should make this chatbot feel like a real, living, breathing part of your Minecraft world. Alright, so step one, let's figure out how to record our voices and turn it into these guys. According to people much smarter than I am, recording your voice and turning it into text is actually called speech to text. As it turns out though, free speech to text libraries in Java, which is the programming language that Minecraft's written in, are all shit. That's where Daddy Google comes in big clutch mode here, all right? Because their library is fast and extremely cheap. More on that cheap part later though. All right, let's put Google speech to text in Minecraft now. This is all real technical stuff, so you know, it might take a little while to put it in here. Let's see here. Control C, Control B. Sick, dude, I'm so good at this. Let's test this thing out, shall we? All right, it compiled. Nice, let me spit some facts real quick. Fun fact, all Genshin Impact players actually watch hentai. Holy shit, it worked. Nice, uh, first, first try, guys, first try. Okay, step two. Let's send the words to ChatGPT. This is pretty much as simple as the previous code that we added. Just need to follow this legend's GitHub. And yes, that's GitHub, not whatever else you were thinking. And slap it into the mod. All right, back in the test world. Got the Chad Steve skin on. Let's see if this shit works, all right. Hey there. Will I ever get myself a big titty goth anime girlfriend? <laughs> I can't believe that I fucking wrote that. Holy shit, it worked! It told me to keep dreaming too. Oh, there's a chance then, boys. All right, let's make this thing talk, shall we? So much like our speech-to-text dilemma earlier, the problem is even worse when it comes to text-to-speech, which is the technical way of saying, robot make word noise. Like, you remember Microsoft Sam? Hello, I'm Spoderman. Yeah, so time to give Daddy Google more pennies. I put some text-to-speech on this thing, so let's, let's see if this shit works, all right? I, I, I don't know, let's see. Percy, spit some shit. My god, I'm so nervous. Oh, hello there. I see the player- Oh, that was crazy. Somebody just came in and started beating the shit out of my desk right there. Hey, Percy, if you could like and subscribe, would you? Let him cook. Let him cook. Well, considering I don't have a physical form or any uh, means of interacting uh, with the internet, uh, I, I think, think subscribing he would. and liking I might be a bit of a would. challenge for me. Like, like, thanks and, for offering. like and subscribe. Alright, everything seems to be working great now. Um... I guess it's time to, you know, actually give this thing a body. For the design of the chatbot, I took inspiration from my favorite game growing up, Halo 3. There's a character in this game who ironically is a highly intelligent AI and has huge tits. Yep, you guessed it. That's right. It's uh, 343 Guilty Spark. Yep. Totally didn't see that coming in the beginning of the video, did you? Only a few hours later, look look at us, back in the test world. Uh, I don't whoever the fuck this is, I, I have no idea. Look, uh, there wasn't enough time in the schedule to add a real spawn method here, so uh, let's, let's summon him in here. And, oh, oh, yep, look how fucking silly that is. Uh, all my time just uh, flying away. Yep. All right, let's see, I tuned a couple numbers. Let's, let's see what happens now. Hey, buddy. 
Hey, hey you, you feel like flying? Wow, look at that. Glorious. Seems like we're done, right? Like we have Percy in the game. You could actually speak to him and he speaks back. Ha! Wrong! I fooled you, you little, you little rascal. He's still just chat GPT in Minecraft at the moment, which don't get me wrong, is cool and everything, but you know, I like I said earlier, I kinda wanna do more. So remember when I said earlier that I want Percy to actually have knowledge about the world that he exists in? Well, alright, let's back up for a second. Do you remember when you were a milk drinking baby? No? Well, of course you don't. No one does. You were just a little milk drinking piss baby, you know? You, you didn't remember anything because your brain and memory were in their infant stages. Much like our boy Percy here, you know? At the moment, he's nothing more than a milk drinking piss baby, right? You see what I'm getting at here? All right, so if we give Percy some way of storing all conversations he's had with the player, we can use some nifty new database and searching strategies here to allow Percy, and I'm using this very loosely here, think of those past conversations to help him retrieve information relative to you and your world. Now, if none of this makes any sense, that's completely fine. Here's a pat on the head and a cookie. Mwah. So really quickly for all the high IQ Redditors watching this video, okay, I want to address the obvious solution to this problem, which is constantly updating Percy about the ongoings in the world, right? The reason this sucks is because it's stupid and I hate it. Kidding, kidding, of course. All right, put, put the pitchforks away. The reason it actually sucks can be broken down actually pretty simply. How are you gonna concisely present Percy with game world knowledge, right? Do you tell him every time a block gets placed or every time a mob dies? At that point, he'd basically be a god and you would also be if you could figure out how to actually map out the near infinite game states concisely enough so that you aren't giving OpenAI a uh, million dollars every time you ask Percy a question. Here's another cookie and a pat on the head. And done, man. That only took me like 20, 20 minutes. Uh, wow, I'm such so good programmer. Yeah. All right, let's check out Percy's memory. I'm gonna give Percy a couple details about the house, like what it's made out of and where it is. Then I'm gonna hit him with a couple of hard hitting questions to distract him. Then I'm gonna ask him if he remembers what the house looks like and where it is. Hey Percy, we're at my house right now. Can you remember that? Oh, reaffirming the painfully obvious, huh? No uh, worries. Shut the I've got All right, now he's aware of the house. Let's tell him what it looks like. Hey, Percy, my house is made out of cobblestone, wooden stairs, and oak logs. Can you remember that for me? Of course. Oh, wise master of house compositions. Rest All right, sure. nice. Let's I ask him a bunch of questions now. Of is it pink? Yeah, it seems about right. All right, that should be good. Let's get back to the house. All right, let's ask him if he remembers. Hey, Percy, are we near my house right now? Ah, the astounding perks of being a locationally blurred consciousness. Navigate endless pixels until Notion speaks in compromising certainty, saying, yes, dear Puzzle Eye, we are indeed in the embrace of reduced travel distance to your abode. Okay. Didn't, uh, didn't need to do all that, but, uh, thanks there, buddy. Percy, what does my house look like? As it twas bequeathed upon my graphical receptors, Maybe it's pray let me depict the finest moments of your majestic log barricade, embellished with cobblestone urgings and crowned with wooden stairs, humorously grand architect. Hey, he remembers! Well, boys, all in a day's work. So the really dope thing about all of this is that I made it in such a way so that it's expandable and I can add an extra memory or search category into his brain at any time. For now though, general knowledge and locational knowledge seem sufficient enough to get people to click on this video. And yeah, I think that about does it for how I actually, you know, made Percy. Uh, let's go show this thing off to some friends. You want to give the intro? No, nah, there there ain't no fucking intro, dude. I'm just, right. you guys, this is all you guys. I oh, want to see right. what wait, you do with be, them. Wait, wait, that's right. This is gonna oh, be there my he video. is. Holy this shit, is, I didn't see him. My video. <laughs> yeah, man, there he is. <laughs> no. <laughs> Percy, I'm so sorry, but uh, Boof did not like you. He hit you. Are you okay? Oh, 
Oh, I'm absolutely thriving. I love getting slapped around by random characters in an open world game. Bro, tell him. I don't even know what to say to that. I'm like, no. Percy, have you ever watched Drama Alert hosted by Killer Keemstar? <laughs> oh, yeah. I never miss my weekly dose of quality content, diluted testosterone, and incessant yelling. <laughs> Really brings a charming vibe to the pixels. <laughs> well, wasn't that just silly? Before I end this video, though, I actually want to mention three things. Number one is that I'm actually going to be posting a tutorial on how you set up and get Percy running. Due to the APIs that he uses, you actually need to get your own two API keys, so you have to do some stuff in the file explorer. Sorry. Which actually leads to number two, which is that this mod is technically not free. Right? Uh, I'm not charging any money for this mod, let me be clear, but the Google and OpenAI APIs actually do cost a very minuscule amount of money to use. I put together this spreadsheet real fast just to kind of visualize how much everything actually costs. So you can pause it and go through it if you want, but what I really want to point out here is basically this is how much it costs to use the mod uh, in Harry Potter book scale, okay? And basically what that means is Per $2.50, you can speak an entire Harry Potter book's worth of words, which is about this many words right here, and it would only cost you two and a half dollars in USD. And that includes you speaking to Percy, Percy thinking, responding, and speaking out loud, which is every all of the functionality that costs money. The last thing that I want to mention is actually me and the future. I actually had like a ton of fun making this mod and the video, and I actually have so many ideas for how I can use this tech going forward. If you want to support me so I can spend more time doing this, check out my Patreon in the description down below. You're going to get early access to any new mods that I create, the ability to chat with me, and access to my Discord server. If you aren't interested in that, but you still made it this far, please at least leave a like and subscribe as it really just helps get more eyes on my content. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you in the next one.